Hello everyone! How are y'all doing? So, I decided I'll be vlogging this week because I have a few interesting events and places to go to so I thought it would be interesting to see. Let me tell you what I'm up to today. I got invited to discover the Chelsea flower show. So it's called Chelsea in Bloom and every year uh, we have a beautiful floral displays um, so they decorate all the beautiful boutiques on Sloan Street, some of the cafes in Chelsea. I got invited by Sloan Street and I'm also going with a friend so we'll have a little cocktail later on. I am dressed in all black and white and I am loving today's outfit guys. So let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing all silver jewellery. I'm wearing my Italo pieces. Actually all my jewellery today is Italo. <laughs> Another Italo ring. I am also wearing this one. This stunning dress and tweed jacket above from Urban Revival. I'm not sure if they're still available because I actually unboxed them last year. I showed you them. Love this dress. It's so flattering. It, it has these beautiful cutouts on the waist. Also, the jacket has silver buttons. So that's why I decided to wear silver jewellery. And then for shoes, I'm wearing my beautiful Chanel sling bags. They also have silver hardware. And did you guys guess which bag I'll be taking this one with silver hardware again? Oh my god, I am obsessed. I think this look turned out so well. I really like it and it is perfect for the flower show. So I'm super excited for this year's flower show. I actually had a little look the other day. I was passing by... Uh, the Cartier and Tiffany stores and they looked amazing so can't wait to show you but yeah let's go Guys, look at Sloan Square, it is so beautiful. You can see the big Hollywood sign, fresh popcorn. Here is the dinosaur. So this year's team is flowers on film. We have the huge camera. Okay guys, next stop is cocktails with dessert. Cocktails are here. This is my one. It's very fruity with raspberry. So I'm gonna try it out and we're waiting for dessert as well. And we're sitting outside because the weather's nice. So this is the dessert, looks really cute with the flowers. I hope it tastes as nice as it looks. Hi guys, it is another day and I just received this huge box from HelloFresh. Bianca's visiting and I'm gonna cook her a delicious HelloFresh meal. I wanted to surprise Bianca but I think I'll just message her because I'm not sure. I wanted to make this but I'm not sure if she'll like this. I would absolutely love this for dinner. <laughs> and then I ordered the sticky chicken and rice and chorizo and roasted aubergine spaghetti. Welcome to Maria's kitchen. Let me put my cute apron on <laughs> since I'll be a chef today. I just messaged Bianca and she said she's coming in about half an hour. She picked the sticky chicken and rice, so I'm gonna cook that and I can see it takes about 20 minutes. Ooh, only 20 minutes? 
Seriously, HelloFresh makes my life so easy. Let me tell you, it hasn't been fun or motivating to cook without HelloFresh. I don't really like going to the grocery store to buy food because I always forget an ingredient, put too little or too much. I can never get it right. So HelloFresh has changed my life. Honestly, it's so good. And I get to have healthy meals at home without going to the market. That's the best, isn't it? <laughs> it is a delivery service where you can cook the most amazing meals and everything is prepared for you. All the ingredients are perfectly measured this way, helping to reduce food waste. And it is really, really affordable. Honestly, I'm so happy to be working with HelloFresh in today's video. I've been talking about HelloFresh to Bianca for the longest time. She can confirm when she comes in a bit. And I love that you can select healthy meal options. You can try different things. I do have some favorites that I order on repeat, but I also like to try out new things. So for example, now I picked a low calorie meals that are quick to cook because I do not have time and I always cook in a rush or repeat the same meals. But with HelloFresh, I try new things. And yeah, I haven't actually tried the sticky chicken and rice, so I'm excited to try it. But also you can select vegan options, gluten-free meals, um, you can select by number of people and then you have the cooking instructions at the back step by step so it makes it super easy to follow so let's start this sticky chicken and rice with pickled carrots, ribbons and crushed peanuts oh sounds so fancy and delicious I'm getting really hungry actually so I better start cooking Bianca will come in about 20 25 minutes now so i yeah i better start <laughs> roll up my sleeves well i don't have sleeves it's so hot today i didn't even mention why she's coming she's visiting very quickly today because we booked a holiday together and we need to check in discuss the trip plan everything discuss our outfits of course so yeah that's why she's visiting and then later i'll tell you what i'll be doing later in the day but yeah also i wanted to mention i do have a discount code for hello fresh which will give you 60 percent off 60 percent off your first box plus 20 percent off your next eight boxes you can also see this qr code here and scan it quickly with your mobile phone with the camera but i will also make sure i leave all the details down below so do check out the description box and use my code maria60 to save 60 percent off right you must try this if you haven't tried hello fresh honestly you will be amazed how good the meals are even if you can't cook you can definitely impress your friends or your mum. Oh, oh, and I also forgot to quickly mention, if you're going away on holiday, you can pause the boxes, you can change the address or even cancel the boxes at any time. And meal is done so this is the picture this is mine here is Bianca's she said it smells nice right it does it smells really nice all right let's try and see what's the verdict <laughs> go on digging yeah you like it yeah it's really nice all right let me try and see if I like it the question is, would I reorder this one? Mmm. Oh my god. It is it's actually nice. it is actually really nice. And I'm not saying it just for the camera, it's actually really good. It is. Honestly, this is like one of the best things I've bought recently. Amazon portable fan, you can charge it. I'll link it down below. This it's a lifesaver. It's 30 plus degrees here in the UK and I'm, I'm sweating. I, I might have to put my hair up later. 
Right, Bianca just left and I have things to do today. I need to run to the post office, so I need to go to Royal Mail, I need to go drop off a parcel at UPS. I actually sold some items. If you follow me on my closet account on Instagram, I made a closet account a while ago and I've been selling my designer items there. So if you follow me, you guys know. But yeah, I have a few items to post today. But I also wanted to make this video and also show some of you that are not on Instagram what I'm letting go. I'm also selling some handbags and I hate selling my bags, especially my Chanel bags, but not only the Chanel bags but all my Chanel items because you guys know how much I love Chanel but honestly they drop new collections all the time and I always buy new stuff as well so I can't just keep buying and buying and buying eventually I'll run out of space actually I don't have any space my wardrobes are full to the brim and I actually did a massive clear out last year and I had loads of space and now they are full so I need to do another huge clear out so I started listing some of my luxury items on my Instagram and I wanted to show you so I'm selling. I'll start with maybe the more summery ones so I decided to sell this Chanel t-shirt. I do have the original hanger but I'm not gonna sell it with the original hanger so it will come just a t-shirt and a dust bag. It is this like towel fabric. I'll come up close. It is the cutest colors for summer it has the black trim this one honestly if it doesn't sell i'll be happy to keep because this collection was one of my favorites the la posa collection uh, so if it doesn't sell i won't be too <laughs> sad about it actually i'll probably say this for a lot of the items you'll see uh, but yeah i love this t-shirt i have worn it a few times it's been washed but it is in great condition size 40 and i would say if it's uk 10 12 it's quite boxy relaxed fit I'll see if I have a picture and insert it here so you can see how it looks on next a pair of sunglasses these are so cool I actually only bought these to match with a Fendi jacket that I have and I think I've worn them once they're very comfortable and lightweight they have this beautiful blue detailing on the frame so let me try them on so you can see how they look they don't have any scratches, they're literally brand new, come full set with the case. Okay, I have one Birkin and three horses, uh, which I don't really need. I have more horses than bags from Hermes. <laughs> the color combination with the Rose Sakura, it's one of the most popular, Frambois, and I think Rouge Cellier was for the wings. I honestly really really love it however this is the only horse that I don't like the look of on my Birkin and since I don't have another Birkin to put this on I think I'll just let it go I do love the look of my other horses on my Birkin in a tube color because they match better this one against the tube it's not really that great that's the only reason I'm selling it if I had a pink MS bag or black I would absolutely love to keep this but for now since I'm not getting any <laughs> handbags from the store I think I'll let this one go it's brand new comes with box next I have uh, this cute Fendi scarf twilly actually with the monsters it has the Fendi can you guys see there it's really cute it has two sides so let me just show you quickly this one has been used and washed and ironed. I ironed it so it looks really good. It's in a really good condition. So if you have a bag that matches, I wanted to show you I'm selling it really cheap. This honestly I'm in two minds if I should sell it or keep it. Can you even see it? It is my Dior Wee necklace. Oh sorry, this is the other way around. Let me show you it the right way it has it's in yellow gold and it has a little diamond I'm only selling this one because I don't really reach for it as much and I actually only wear it when I'm fully dressed in Dior but even then sometimes I would forget and wear some of my other jewelry like the idol necklaces it's been used probably less than 10 times since I bought it I'm pretty sure 
Next we have a pair of jeans and now that I'm looking at these I don't even know if I want to let them go. They are so amazing and they actually fit so well. Chanel denim is so hot honestly and it's really really hard to get plus their prices have gone up since last year so much on their denim on their jeans because they can see that people buy them they're one of the most popular items. That's why I don't know if you've noticed they release more and more jeans whereas in the past they didn't really release that much denim or like jeans at all but now with every collection they release like a new super cool style of jeans these are from 22p so last year's pre-spring summer collection they were super hard to get really hot everyone wanted a pair of these so let me show you they have this purple like orange i would say and that the jeans are dark gray they're super easy to style and they look so good on, they're just straight cut. Um, the reason I wanted to actually sell these is because I recently got something else that I think I prefer. But again, if these don't sell, I'll happily keep them because uh, I love the print. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Right, next I have a pair of sandals. So these are from Louis Vuitton and they're brand new. Size 38. So these were a bit of an impulse buy but I had all intentions to wear them when I purchased them because I just bought the matching swimsuit and the matching bag. And I also thought I would wear them a lot with my lilac. Chanel mini and my pink because they go the colors are so nice and I actually love this monogram because it's not too in your face although yeah you can see the LV logo it's not too in your face because it blends in with the beautiful pastel colors so I really loved them and I guess if they don't sell I'll just wear them this summer I've been avoiding wearing these because I thought someone might buy them that's why I wanted to keep them brand new but yeah, if anyone wants them they're true to size I'm between sizes as well so these I would say they run true to size but if you are 38 and a half these will also fit because they're slightly wider fit and I also believe that this style of Louis Vuitton slides do not come in half sizes usually so yeah Another beautiful summer pair of shoes. I love the Royal Loafers by Hermes. They're one of my favorite style of shoes just because they are so comfortable. It feels like you're wearing slippers. Honestly, they're so good. And especially these because they're in the suede, um, even more comfortable. I have a few pairs of these and I want to actually get more neutral colors. These are brand new. I haven't worn these. They are size 38 and they still have have the stickers on the H. These were actually a very popular color. They were very hard to get. They released them last year and they sold out so quick. These actually match my Chanel turquoise flap so I could wear them together I guess if, if I don't end up selling these. <laughs> Another pair. These, these I have worn. These I have worn a few times but you can see the sew is actually really great they're 38 and a half classic black you can't go wrong with classic black i the reason i'm selling these is just because i don't really wear open loafers with like open back anymore other than that i really love the style but i think i prefer the look of a closed loafer i'm not sure why they discontinued this style i think it was quite popular it was selling really well they might bring them back but oh wow i checked the prices recently ms shoes have become quite pricey they had an increase in the loafers i remember i bought the loafers much cheaper and now they're they're almost a thousand pounds, which is still cheaper than Chanel, I guess. But yeah, these are just black velvet uh, with a silver H hardware. I know you're probably waiting to see the bags, so I, I wanted to sell this bag. However, when I told my mom, she kind of told me off. She was like, nope, I don't allow you to sell this bag. It is stunning. She's right. It's actually one of my most used bags. It is great. It is soft. It is durable. It fits a ton because it is a single flap. Um, it is in great condition. I do even have the... Um, insert inside and it really is like brand new although I've worn it so much it is such a hard wearing easy bag 
Also with the recent crazy price increases, I don't know, maybe she's right, maybe I should just hold on to it. I'm selling it quite cheap, I might actually change the price and, and sell it for more. So if anyone wants to buy it, I will definitely actually put the price up because I'm selling it so cheap and this is such a great super big bag, like they're selling tiny little babies for like the price of what I've listed this for. This is also reselling for a lot more on other websites so if you compare the prices um, you can't find it for like under 5k I think this was very hard to get back and also every time I go to Chanel with this bag they're like oh my god you managed to get that bag so yeah whenever I go to Chanel and like see someone I don't normally work with or someone who doesn't know me when they see I'm wearing this bag they're like oh wow you have the Chanel 22p denim bag how did you get it? <laughs> Next I have this, this is brand new with tags, I am selling this same I paid, I actually got this on sale so it will be the same sale price I paid. I love this because you can wear it as a dress but also you can wear it as a cardigan, it looks so stunning all buttoned up, um, worn as a dress and it has the pockets which are also very signature for Chanel. It is pure cashmere and also it is very neutral colours so it will be very very easy to style with like neutrals, brown bags, uh, burgundy bags because it has the burgundy trim. I think when my mom and my friends are watching this video they will be surprised I'm selling this. I'm even surprised I'm selling this but I haven't worn it at all since I bought it um, so I don't know. Just decided to put it out there if anyone wants it, if not of course I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Next, I know this is very recent, I did explain on my Instagram so I'm not gonna repeat myself why I want to let this go. Um, it is new but at the same time it's not very new, I know you've watched the video probably, I uploaded the video like one or two weeks ago, it was quite recent, but I actually bought this a while ago, <laughs> so I've had it for like maybe two months now and I haven't worn it a single time. I didn't buy it to resell so I'm actually gonna sell it for the same price I bought it for plus it will be cheaper. You can never find these cheaper guys. I bought it in Europe so that's why I'll sell it cheaper. I'll sell it for the same price. I don't want to make profit. I bought it with the intention again to wear it. I even ordered two straps for it. I have a matching leather strap for it and a chain strap. I will, if anyone wants the leather strap, I will just sell it with the conversion kit um, with the same, it's a matching color as well. But it's brand new with stickers. I haven't worn it since I got it. Um, so, oh my god, this is gorgeous. And this, impossible to get under retail, trust me. I think someone will hit the jackpot with this one. Oh, even looking at it now, like, do I do I honestly want to let it go? I do also have the matching bracelet, which I guess I could sell as well. It has rose gold hardware in the color Ver Fizz. I remember many people loved these when I got them uh, and unboxed them on my channel. They are a super classic pair of black suede shoes from Miu Miu with these cute little stars, crystal stars. They're in great condition. I've worn them, I think, twice. And they also have this cute little kitty on the sole. I would say they'll fit a 38, even 38 and a half to be honest. So they run a whole size bigger. Next, I feel that I'm gonna get in trouble again. I'm gonna get told off for selling these. Because <laughs> some of my friends absolutely love these and they're honestly so amazing. They look very chunky, but they're super lightweight and also they're one of the most comfortable shoes I own. They're very padded inside and it feels like you're stepping on clouds. Also, neutral color i love the clear so the so is so cool i love the quilted detailing on the leather then we have metallic yellow gold and a cc on the tail cap oh how can i forget the little cc's at the back this is the so very clean i've worn them a couple of times only but they look like new these are size 38, I would say they would fit 38, 38 and a half, quite true to size. I found more summer clothes, uh, this a gorgeous red Valentino top with a bow, definitely gives me Chanel vibes, that's why I got it. 
It is brand new. It has these amazing off the shoulder sleeves. Also has the tags. It is Italian 44. So this one will fit. This one's quite small and you guys know Italian sizes do run very small. So this one would fit UK 10, 12. It has a zipper at the back. I only bought this because I really wanted uh, this top from Chanel and it was completely sold out. And this one gave me the same vibes. However, I bought it during lockdown and I never wore it, unfortunately. So it's brand new. I will insert some pictures of the model wearing uh, the top so you can see how it looks on her but it will look so cute with like skirts or blue denim another one I got beginning of lockdown and I never ever wore it I don't even know why I got it like <laughs> what was I thinking where was I going nowhere we were stuck at home um, so this one is brand new with tags I haven't worn it at all and it is a, the prettiest dress ever it looks so pretty see I feel that Zimmerman doesn't do them this good anymore plus now these are extortionate prices you can tell like the quality is so good you can't find it under a thousand even under one and a half thousand I would say actually I love the colors I love the floral prints the belt, the cute buttons, comes with a slip under. This one will fit, it is a size 2, so again it will fit probably 10, 12. Might be a bit, um might be a bit tight for a 12 but 10 definitely the fun is back i have two more items actually three more items i'm gonna insert clips for two of them so first of all this chanel stunning stunning absolutely stunning um jacket cropped jacket cardigan guys this piece it's one of my favorites in my collection the reason the only reason i'm selling it it's too small <laughs> I want to cry. It's honestly so beautiful. So I'm just asking what I paid for it because it is brand new plus you can't find jackets like this with so much detail and chain detail for that price at Chanel. So honestly if you see a jacket like this at Chanel now it will be like 5,000 if not more. So just saying. And then I'm also selling a scarf. I don't wear silk scarves so I'm not sure why I got <laughs> this one from Hermes. I already had one that I didn't wear and then I saw this one. I loved the colors and I was like oh I love the colors. I'll probably wear this one more so I bought it. But honestly I haven't touched it at all since I got it. Love the colours, it's, it's such pretty colours, I just don't wear silk scarves. But you can wear this as a top, I know many people wear them as tops. And last, this one is currently actually on hold because um, someone messaged me and they want to buy it. I really hope I won't regret this one because these currently sell for I think £6,000 in this size and this one is literally in brand new condition. Do you guys think I should sell it or should I just keep it? Honestly, I know I reserved it um, already, I promised it to someone, I'm waiting for them to pay but I might change my mind and keep it, I'm not 100% sure. It's a leather bag and I'm selling it way too cheap. I'm selling it for £4,000, um, so honestly I don't know, I might end up keeping this one. That's why I left it last, just because I'm not 100% I'm not sure. But let me know which one. I don't have to sell any of them, but just because I reach for this one a lot more. This one I'm only selling because I don't reach for this color that much. Blue is not really my color. Um, but I don't know, should I just keep both of them or should I sell them and buy new ones? Let me know in the comments. Which one should I keep? Which one should I sell? Should I sell both and buy new ones and enjoy them since they're dropping new collections every month now? <laughs> I know, it's the hard bag. I have been thinking about selling this one for a while now. Maybe I'm ready to let it go. I have worn it so much since I got it and I think that's why I I am a bit bored of the shape I guess. Plus I do still have my other hearts, <laughs> the mini heart bags and the heart belt bag as well in black so I could potentially sell this one. It might appear on my Instagram. Alright that's all. Hopefully... Oh no. 
Ha! I almost forgot this one. This jumper is so stunning. It is um, it was almost a thousand pounds, guys. This jumper. It is really lovely mohair, super warm. I love the colorway as well. I love the print, but I have worn it a few times. I'm selling it super cheap. So if anyone wants it, I'll leave all the details down below in the description box. Sizing prices um, and yeah come follow me on my Instagram I have my closet account everything is listed on my closet account if you don't have Instagram email me maybe I'm so bad with with my emails so I will try if you really don't have Instagram um, maybe email me but bear in mind I will probably reply very slow so it's better to contact me on Instagram instead <laughs> All right, I'm melting. I need to change, put my hair up. I have sold a few items. Um, so let me actually show you what I've sold and I need to pack everything and go to the post office. But uh, let me put this hair up because I'm melting. And I made a mess, so I need to put everything back now. I know it looks like I'm probably selling a lot, but I also am constantly buying new things. I'm shopping a lot, so... So let's see, these two have sold, these are both high street. I wore this once for like 50 minutes to take some pictures in front of the Eiffel Tower. Sorry guys, my window is open so it might be a bit loud. But I'm gonna pack this one and then this Zara dress has sold. So I sold some sunglasses. These are still available, the Fendi ones. But then I sold the Versace. They're very classic black with the Medusa. A pair of shoes. I really, really didn't want to sell these, but I've only worn them like twice. They're super classic, these Chanel sandals. Let me take them. So here they are, very classic, black and gold. Oh, I absolutely love them. Hopefully I won't regret selling these. I also sold them really cheap, like less than half retail. These currently, I didn't realize they sell for 1300 these i've worn twice um so they're like new um, but i'm gonna find the original box and wrap these up quickly as well bye bye babies i will miss you so much i hate selling my chanel stuff <laughs> These babies are going to Spain, so I have to ship with UPS and I always need these for the invoices. Moment of truth, would the box fit inside here? I hope it does, because I don't have another package. Yay! Right, all the packages are wrapped up and ready to go. I'm gonna drop the first one at a UPS drop-off point and then the other packages I'll take to the post office. I didn't film me wrapping all the packages because I didn't want to bore you. I'm a super casual and sporty old t-shirt, cycling shorts <laughs> and um, this cutie. Yummy breakfast. It looks so good. <laughs> Just made coffee and the doorbell rang. I received two Zara parcels. So here's one of them. I started opening it. So let's have a little look. Oh, there's quite a lot in here. So actually, do you know what? I might try everything first. If I decide to keep most of it, I'll film a separate video. If I keep like a few pieces, I'll just show you in this haul. But I managed to order the viral swimsuit with the snake. They restocked it, so yay. <laughs> this box feels empty. What's in here? Oh my god. 
thought I honestly thought this was empty <laughs> I was like why did they send an empty box I forgot I ordered this hat <laughs> for the beach all right so I made a mess my favorite pieces <laughs> I'm covering my face with the camera because I don't have makeup on. Maybe I'll just use the hat, but the hat is amazing. Swimsuit, I think I'll return. Um, the skirt I love. It's linen, it's beautiful. And then we have this tote that I love as well. So definitely keeping this one as well. Oh, and I'm keeping the hat as well. <laughs> I want to show you two more packages arrived. So let's unbox them together. So let me show you what's in here. First one is from this brand. The box looks so luxurious. So let me show you inside. We have sunglasses. Ta-da! <laughs> So these are the sunglasses I chose. These came in two different colors for the lenses, but I chose the darker ones. And can you guys see this is real gold? How amazing. They are also polarized. Oh my God, they're so lightweight. <gasps> they're so lightweight. I can't actually feel them on. It feels like I'm not wearing any sunglasses. Honestly, the frames, I really love them. They came in another color, like lighter, more summery color. I might have to order those. Because I am obsessed and I love the shape. Love them. Ooh, I love discovering new brands. So I wanted to unbox them with you and show you. I'm actually already trying to decide which pair I should go for next. By the way, these were the other sunglasses I was talking about. See, they're the same style but like different color lens. And then in here, I received some products from Siate and actually I started using some of them, so I wanted to show you. So I'm currently wearing the mascara and can you guys see like my lashes look so long and the mascara is like really, really black, <laughs> which I love. So this is the packaging, but it's already empty. As I mentioned, I started using the mascara. It is called the Triple Shot XXL Mascara really love it it's very volumizing really really like it and then i also started using this little guy this is the watermelon burst hydrating lip oil i've been using this one quite a lot i even apply it on top of lipstick i love wearing glosses in spring and summer and this one smells so good next we have a fierce wing duo i haven't tried this but i'm excited because i started wearing black eyeliner again as you can tell the application should be very easy because you have this like stamp applicator so it makes it very easy for beginners if you can't really do eyeliner try one of these they're really great i also got a velvet lip liner in the color coco <laughs> And a watermelon burst hydrating primer. This is a pore refining primer. I wonder if it smells like watermelon again. I'm so excited to try these products. All right, let me go get ready and I'll show you today's outfit before I go out. Oh, oh my God, why is my hand looking so pale compared to my face and neck? <laughs> Ignore that. I am going out today to meet Bianca. It is a Sunday, so I wanted to show you my outfit quickly. I'm not sure if I'll be vlogging. We'll just go in town, probably grab like coffee or something. A very simple outfit, black and white with a pop of yellow. Let me show you. So I'm wearing these tiny little pearl earrings. Um, and then the necklace is really cute. I'll link it down below. It is actually repurposed jewelry. It's so, so cute. I'll show you an up close. I will also see if I can get you guys a discount, but I don't promise. <laughs> then this shirt, I hope it's back in stock they restocked it at some point but it sold out again it's from anthropology and then i'm also wearing leggings and my chanel ballerinas in yellow to match um, my classic flap so this is today's outfit a black and white with a pop of yellow for the makeup i don't know if you can guys see but i put a bit of yellow on my lower lash line
Hi guys, a quick voiceover. So we decided to get our nails done after lunch and we of course ended up shopping. Had a look at the makeup section, I loved the Gucci packaging. They had the new Chanel nail varnishes. I actually wanted to get a sample of the water-based foundation to try at home and then of course we had a look at some of the new bags. I'm good, how are you? These are the new eyeshadows, right? These are the duos. We have... So colorful at Prada. Let me show you some Prada bags. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love the pink. The pink for summer. Love this hat. This is perfect for the beach. Okay, I think I found my favorite from Prada. These two, love this one, very easy. It has a strap and then this mini one because it goes crossbody. And then let me show you these. This is like a kiwi color. We have a natural. Oh my God, this is so nice with the little pouch. The pink, a matching bag, white with a matching bag again. Next stop is Saint Laurent. Look how many bags they have. Can you guys see this bracelet with the YSL charms? 